We're standing at the Tablelands, one of the most significant geological features in Gros Moor. It's a protected site and it's easily accessible, so it's one of the few places on the planet where you can actually drive up to the parking lot, get out of your car, and step onto the Earth's mantle. If you think of the Earth in layers, it has a very thin, delicate skin on the outside called a crust, anywhere from 5 to 75 kilometers thick, and then you go down beneath the crust, you end up in the Earth's mantle. And 500 million years ago, huge sections of the Earth's mantle were pushed up during a plate tectonic collision and they were heaved up from underneath the ocean. Over the last 250 million years, a lot of the top material has eroded away until we're left with this tablelands exposed today. Well, here's a piece of peridotite. When it comes up to the surface, it changes into this reddish brownish color rock and it's because of the iron content in the rock. When the iron is exposed to the air at the surface, it rusts away. So the tablelands is slowly rusting away. Scientists today have a better understanding of volcanic activity and tsunamis and earthquakes because of a lot of the early work that was done right here in Grossmoor National Park. So you can smell the rocks, uh, you can lick the rocks, you can listen to the rocks, but you can't take the rocks. I just found some white rock that's... I don't know what it is. What is that? I have no idea. We wouldn't even, we wouldn't even show it. Yes. We don't know what it is. Who knows what it is, right? You, you end up finding this landscape has been heavily glaciated over the millennia and glacial material have been scraped and scoured and deposited all over this landscape. So every now and then you come up with a piece of rock that's totally bizarre and out of context. And what is it? I don't exactly know. But I'm sure we have somebody here who works for Parks Canada that knows what this is. The landscape here in Gros Morne is not typical of the landscape that you would find around our province. People come here because they want to have a unique experience with the land. You'd think this was a desert. You'd think this belongs somewhere in the southern U.S. But it's got nothing to do with the desert. And it's an amazing, cool, interesting geological story.